Hello and welcome. My name is Bailey Moss and in today's video I'll be showing how to set up and configure a Documents Core Pack online service for Dynamics 365 or Power Apps. So first thing you're going to want to do is open up our website, mscrm-addons.com. From there you'll need to log in or register if you don't already have an account with us. So I'm going to go ahead and log in here really quickly. Once logged in, you're going to navigate to Products and then Documents Core Pack. Once in Documents Core Pack, you're going to click Start Trial slash Service Setup. And that'll open up your service configuration page. So this is going to be where you can manage and change existing services as well as create new ones. Uh, so the first step here is going to be to hit the plus icon for Add Service. Next, you're going to have to set up your connection between CRM and the Documents Core Pack service. Click Connection Profile here. And what you'll notice is there's four authentication types available. For Dynamics 365 Online, we always recommend server-to-server -server authentication. Next thing you'll need to do is enter your CRM URL. So it's always helpful to have your instance up just to grab a few details. And I'm going to copy from HTTPS to .com. Once entered, you go ahead and hit Retrieve Organizations. And this will open up a new window to go ahead and enter your Dynamics 365 credentials. One item to note here is that the minimum security requirement is going to be a system administrator within Dynamics 365. Once authenticated, it will retrieve all available organizations that you can connect to. Um, you can see here you can also change logon afterwards if you want to set it up to a new user to connect. Um, next, there will be set up SharePoint connection. I'm going to skip that for now. That's essentially how you set up the connection between SharePoint, Documents Core Back Service, so that you can automatically save documents to SharePoint, as well as edit using Word Online or Word after generation. All right, the next step to do is to go and verify this connection and save the profile. All right, once it's verified your connection details, as you can see, you have your connection profile option here, and it tells you what user you're logged in as. Um, from there, you'll need to set your service name or you can leave it as the default organization name. One thing to note that once this is set, it cannot be changed. So I'll go ahead and give this a personal name, which will be DCP Demo Service. From there, you'll notice your Documents Core Pack instance is pre-selected to the closest data center to your Dynamics 365 instance, although it can be changed, but this is set up to have the best bandwidth possible. Uh, the next item is going to be job type, so by default it's set to document generation only. But you can also set up a standalone print service, as well as one service that does both printing and document generation. The next item is going to be CRM integrated SharePoint. I'm going to skip this for now as well, but we'll link an article to how to set this up in the description below. Alright, from there to go ahead and create your service, all you need to do is hit save service. And a fair warning here, this process can take up to an hour, so feel free to grab a coffee, tea, water, and just let it run through um, importing the solutions and security roles in the background. Alright, once your service configuration is completed, there's a few next steps or items to look into. The first of which is going to be your license status. So Documents Core Pack comes standard with a 14-day free trial. Additionally, once you purchase a license or subscription, it'll be automatically applied to your service, so you don't have to create a new one. Uh, the next main item to pay attention to is going to be the Documents Core Pack client. So this is a separate local install uh, Word add-in that allows you to design and edit templates to be used by Documents Core Pack within CRM. Uh, the next item is going to be the Create Document button. So within the service, you can define what entities show the Create Document button for your end users. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'll link my contact information along with some helpful knowledge base articles and webinars in the description below. If you have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out. And thank you for watching.